Welcome to Birmingham General Cemetery, a Grade 2 star listed cemetery located in Birmingham's historic jewellery quarter. Known now as Key Hill, it was opened in 1836 by a group of non-conformist businessmen, that is those who are not members of the Anglican faith. It was Birmingham's first non-denominational cemetery, the object being to provide a burial ground which would be open to those of all religions and faiths or none. Key Hill holds a range of intriguing catacombs and a wealth of funerary monuments, on which are recorded many of Birmingham's famous and influential residents. With stories as diverse as that of Shakespearean actors, Victorian poets, industrialists, politicians, radical preachers, the first female journalist and the inventor of egg-free custard. Many of these residents were essential in the establishment of George Dawson's civic gospel, the ethos of which was an ambitiously inclusive culture where everything should be for everybody. This movement helped the people of Birmingham create a reputation as a trailblazing modern city. In partnership with the Everything to Everybody project, we would like to tell you more about these Victorian do-gooders. Joseph Tangi was one of nine children, born to a Quaker family in 1826 in Illigon, Cornwall. Tangier was a mechanical expert, and in 1850, along with his brother James, he went to work under Isambard Kingdom Brunel at the engineering firm William Brunton Jr., who were the engineers for West Cornwall Railway. In 1852, Tangier and his brother James followed brothers George and Richard to Birmingham, where Richard had started work as a clerk for a tool manufacturer, with George joining him as a junior clerk. In 1856, James started a machine tool manufacturer and was quickly joined by his brothers Joseph, Richard and George. They set up Cornwall Works in Smethwick and were manufacturers of hydraulic appliances. The brothers manufactured machinery which helped to drive the Industrial Revolution by inventing new and more powerful hydraulic rams that require fewer men to operate and could lift larger loads. When Brunel needed help to launch his ship, the SS Great Eastern, which was at the time the largest ship ever built, he turned to the Tangier brothers, as their earlier work on the West Cornwall Railway had impressed him. The success of the Rams helped the prosperity of the business with the brothers using the advertising line, We launched the Great Eastern! The Great Eastern launched us. In 1865, Tangier patented improvements to his hydraulic pulling jacks, which enabled one man to lift 60 tonnes. This revolutionised the industry, as the best jack at the time needed four men to lift a third of the weight. The firm moved to larger premises and employed over a thousand people. The brothers ensured the best treatment of their workforce, offering every employee free medical assistance, and before the NHS was founded, and free adult education classes. The Tangier firm went on to secure the creation of Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery by donating a total of £10,000 to Birmingham Council for the provision of a permanent art gallery and for the purchase of specimens of art for exhibition. The Tangier brothers also donated £12,000 to the Birmingham School of Art. Joseph Tangier died on 27th May 1902 in Bewdley. His grave, located here in Section K of the cemetery, is made from Cornwall granite, which shows his connection with his roots in Cornwall. I hope you have enjoyed this brief insight into the people buried here in Key Hill Cemetery. If you'd like to learn more about the people buried within Key Hill or Warstone Lane cemeteries, or if you want to find out more about the Everything to Everybody project, you can go to links in this video's description. If you'd like to help us to continue with our work, you can donate to the Jewellery Quarter Research Trust's GoFundMe page. The link is in the description, and all the proceeds will go towards the production of more virtual tours.